Hello everyone and welcome back to a new Star Wars lore video. In this video I'm going to be discussing how I think one particular ship could have helped the Empire in a major way if the Empire had made more of them. The Empire actually did have one of these ships but if they had made more I think it could have had a huge impact on the Galactic Civil War. I refer of course to the Ark Hammer. The Ark Hammer was an Imperial spacefaring production facility that used to supplement the Imperial Stormtrooper Corps with Dark Troopers, a new generation of battle droid stormtroopers to be used in the Galactic Civil War against the Rebel Alliance. The Ark Hammer served as a primary testbed for the Dark Trooper Project, a brainchild of General Rommuck, which was to create larger, more powerful robotic versions of stormtroopers. The Dark Troopers were deliver developed inside of the vessel, construction lines filled the interior, and four large ventral hangars were responsible for receiving cargo vessels and loading batches of Dark Troopers and transports or deploying them directly above a target world. You definitely see the implications of this. Essentially, the, the Ark Hammer was a huge ship that built that built Dark Troopers. It also built TIE droids, which were droid starfighters that had a TIE fighter design, but that's beside the point. Essentially, the Ark Hammer was a factory that made Dark Troopers and TIE droids. So, essentially, it was only one ship, but one of these ships could arrive in hyperspace above a planet, surrounded by a few Star Destroyers, deploy a bunch of fighters, and help the Star Destroyers subdue the space forces protecting an enemy planet, and then deploy Dark Troopers to take the surface. You see where I'm going with this? If you made a few more of these Ark Hammers, then you could have a bunch of factory ships making armies of not just Dark Troopers and TIE Droids, but AT-ATs, 2M tanks, ATSTs, and regular TIE Fighters. Just churn them out throughout the whole galaxy. So you don't have to have one particular place to build everything. You just retrofit a few Ark Hammers to make, to make AT-ATs and other units like that, and then you can have a few of them equipped with more turbo lasers, which they had merely anti-fighter weapons, not really any turbo lasers, give them a few turbo lasers and retrofit them to handle uh, the production of other units besides dark troopers, and you have a fleet of ships that one of these ships could take control of an entire planet. Now, a single arc hammer took over a took a few billion credits to construct. I understand that's no small amount, but when you think the Empire built Death Stars and had money to build more, that was that pretty much seals what I'm saying. The Ark Hammer, they could have made several of these ships and it could not have even dented the Empire. So have a few of these factory cruisers and or as I call them, factory cruisers, and you could just take over the entire galaxy with a few ships and that would be the end of it. You could also crew them entirely with dark troopers, so they could be entirely self-sustaining. The only thing they would really need is materials to build more ships and tanks and droids, but other than that, these things can be completely self-sustaining. But what do you guys think? Did I get it right? Is the Ark Hammer an effective ship to save the Empire? Leave, leave your thoughts in the comments, or any other ships you think could have served the role better. But until next time, Leave a like on today's video and subscribe if you haven't already.